This is a this is a test of the uh, Foxtech um, Swan K1 or H-wing aircraft with switching between EKF3 and DCM in flight. So this is part of a test for a pull request uh, where we want to be able to use DCM for flight control of VTOL vehicles in an emergency. So we have the transmitter set up here and we have a button on the transmitter over here which will change between DCM and EKF. So when I press that it says that EKF3 is active, press it again and it says DCM is active. I'll just show it closer on the display there. So that makes it, uh, that's EK3 active and now DCM active. All right, so I'm going to start with EK3 and put it into Q loiter mode. So it's now in Q loiter. So I'm going to arm the vehicle. Okay, then take off and hover it. All right, so there it is, hovering in Q loiter mode. I'll just bring it down a little bit so it's easier in the camera view. Now, it's not very good GPS lock here in my backyard, so we're sort of not expecting it to be particularly good position hold. But I'll now, so I'll fly it around a little bit in EK3, like that. Right, and you're it. And it's all flying as per usual. And now I'll press the switch to go to DCM mode. Okay, so there it is in DCM mode. And I'm able to fly it, move it around, yaw it a little bit. And it's sloppier. It isn't as good flying in DCM as it is with EK3, but it is quite flyable. And as an emergency, in case the EK3 goes bad, it's quite acceptable. So I'll actually land it in DCM mode now. So bring it down there and tell it to come down slowly. And then I'll disarm. All right, so there we have it, uh, able to fly both DCM and EKF, no problem, on the uh, H-Wing, which is essentially flying as a quadcopter. I've just removed the extra wing extensions off the, the plane here for flying in my backyard because there's not exactly enough room to do a full transition.